Contacting spiritual spirits, I say entire sentences and prayers through Morse code. You know, and you know scripture from those spirits. Spiritual, like spirits through Morse code, people have died. Brian, Brian, yeah, Denine, 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 and Brian. We're we're making it so that we can get married, have a child. So you you only believe in Norse mythology? She doesn't. Well, I believe, I believe, the, I believe power, well, okay. no, it's not just Norse mythology. I, most people call him God, I, I know there's something concerned. higher. I just have my own beliefs. Okay. As far okay. as Jesus okay. is concerned, and I don't really when I die, if I, I die. You, I have a question. Are you a white supremacist? No. no. Are you? Are you sure? Are you a black supremacist? Come on. How am I going to be a white supremacist? <laughs> I don't know. Now, the the black question supremacist? is, is this. So, you know, a lot of white supremacists, a lot of white supremacists rely heavily on the culture and the belief of Norse mythology and, you know, Hitler. So no, the question not is, me. Not so me. I'm not one of them. How do you feel about that? I, so how do you feel, feel about black people? I feel like they're, I they're, they're, they're you know, I, I know a lot of black people, and we're, we we get off on the right foot with with culture and as far as being spiritual and grounded to the earth. Uh, I think black people are people of the sun, and whites are the people of the moon, and we just okay, kind of coexist. Like, you know, we coexist. So like black you know? people are the children of light, and white people are so-called white people are the children of darkness. But my question is this, boom, yeah. right? Okay, yeah. how do you feel, how and how educated are you on the history of black people here in America? Uh, I, I believe I, slavery I was all wrong. Let me, see, let me just hear. What slavery? Do you slavery was wrong. You think slavery but, was wrong? Yes, but today a lot of black people yeah. are holding it against huh? us. No, let's just deal with this, right? All right, oh, yeah, yeah. So we're talking about the, how educated are you in white culture, so-called uh, black culture, I mean. Right? I think it's and one the experience it's, of black people here in America. It's just like a, it's like a. Everybody should be loved. All everybody same. should be loved, and I think that uh, whether or not, wrong, whether or white not, people are wrong, black we've people are wrong, all had our tribulations wrong. throughout history. Wait, you said slavery is wrong? Slavery is wrong. Okay. White people are wrong. White people black are wrong. People are wrong. Mexicans are wrong. We all are just no, no, trying no. to survive. So why, why is so-called white people wrong? No, ain't nobody better than nobody else. Okay. It don't matter what color you are. So this, it this, don't matter what what religion you. So this was wrong, right? This was not this this history of, of white like look at that. That uh, was wrong, right? Yeah, that was very wrong. And this wrong. was wrong too. This was very wrong, yes. yes. Okay, okay. So do you feel like so called white people as in America, Donald Trump, Joe Biden, so on and so forth, do you feel like they have apologized or have felt remorse to the, the plight of so called black people in America? I think that it's I it's a matter right of job. of just like just people who are in power. Uh, only favor those who are also in power. Right, right. You know what I right, mean? Right, and right, us okay. as Americans, we have to kind of uh, rise above it. And but y'all know it's wrong, though. It's wrong, yeah. Right. So, they didn't apologize. Donald Trump, Joe Biden, they don't feel bad because, like you said, they're up there, so they care about yeah, people that's yeah. up there. Well, but me and you, we're down here, so let's do this. We're, right? we're on, yeah, the, on Donald, the same Donald, level Donald, Donald So, y'all feel, y'all what, feel, y'all feel bad about slavery? I have a question. I have a question. Right? Now, the Bible talks about the way these other people should apologize to black and Hispanic people for what they did yeah. to them. Now, what, but, if I showed you, wait, hold on, wait, wait, let me finish, finish, let me finish, let me finish. Let me finish, let me finish. No problem, no problem. I just want to show you, yeah. boom, because if I show you in the Bible, right? If I show you in the Bible, hold on, Brian, Brian. Yeah, hey, how you doing? If I show you in the Bible, 
how you're supposed to apologize to us for what happened to us, yeah. right? Would you be willing to do that? Uh, I would be willing to apologize in behalf of, let's say, just what our let's ancestors say, did. Anse well, right. it wasn't none of my ancestors, right. but on behalf of like behalf the of the Caucasian people. people. Well, not on behalf, like, just the people who are Caucasian who did do those type of things to blacks, okay. which is wrong. Now I'm gonna see if you're an He's honest black. man, Brian. Yeah. Now, 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 now you're his wife. I'm gonna see if you're an honest woman. Read that verse. Uh, Isaiah 49, verse 23. So like it. Isaiah 49, 23. Let's see that according to the Bible. I'm gonna see if you're an honest people. Because you may be. You know, I never know. You know, you come across people every day. So read that. Isaiah 49, verse 23. Careful. And kings shall be thy nursing father. Right? And their queens thy nursing mothers. Come on. They shall bow down to thee. Now, the Bible starts off by saying, you know what? That's the high. That's Donald Trump. He's the oh. king of America. Right? Yeah, I got right? you. So, Hillary yeah. Clinton's the queens of America. Oh, yeah, so, yeah, you yeah, know yeah. what? Let's yeah. deal with the common like, folk. You know, Isaiah 16 so. and 14. Let's see according to the Bible. I want you to see something. Right? Can I read? Can I see what you read? Isaiah 16 and verse 14. Bring it out. The sons also of them that afflicted thee. No. The yeah. people who actually did this, they're not here. All they right. can't pay back no, us for no, what they've done, right? Done. But the children of them are here. Their children is here. What are, what and the children of those slaves, the children of those slaves, they're here also, right? So they were Read on. Kids. Read. Shall come bending unto thee. So the children that afflicted us, such as yourselves, right? No, but, we would be, but, but, this was a, what, but, 100 years but, ago? but, but, over 100 years ago, okay. but, but, Y'all feel bad about this. Yeah, we do. We I do. say right. everybody, so should, be, everybody should be treated. The yeah. sons also of them that afflicted thee shall come bending. You may not be thee. the ones afflicting us, but you're the children of those who afflicted us. Read on. Good. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down to the soles of thy feet. So from what you're saying, you may not be the ones who despise us, but you come from the children. You're the children of those no, who did despise us. We don't despise we anybody. Not, remember we don't what I said? Remember what I said, Brian? Yeah. You may not be the ones who despise us, but None you are. Hold on, hold on, we... hold on. Who's your great, 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 great grandfather's name? His name is August Carl Schrodinger. Where he's from? He was a German immigrant who immigrated to Kentucky and worked on the railroad as a as a young man yeah, and helped build. Yeah, I have a Bible from 1897. Exactly. Read the scripture one more time. <laughs> We were Christians. We were. We were. Mo and uh, all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. So now let's be real. You may not be the ones who despise us, but you're the children of those who bow, who despise us. So read one more time. The Mine sons the also of them that afflicted thee. You're shall the children of those bending. who afflicted us. Read on. Shall come bending. One more time. Shall come bending. One more time. Shall come bending. One more time. Shall come bending. Shall come bending. Now, like the Bible says. Will you bend down before us? I no. can't do that. I can't no, because do that. you know why? Because well, no, I'm gonna tell you why. Why? Because you're liars. That's right. why. That's liars. right. You're liars. Are we liars? Right? Because you said. Let me ask you a question. I'm gonna say this. Oh, no, 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 no. You said you'll be doing what the Bible says. If the Bible says, give me a handshake then you'll be in the right for saying that. But yeah. because you said you would do it, and it said thou goes, I never said I would do anything. I never said I would do anything. Then that makes you a liar. Now, now I want to say this. Boom. Which one's more important? Actions or words? Both. Both are important? Yeah. Are they equal? Uh, you have to follow through on your promises. That's actions then? Yes. Right. So actions more important? Yeah. Right. But so you have to have your the words actions, and the actions. Your words told me that you felt bad about what happened to black people. Yeah. And you know what your actions showed me? What? You don't give a damn about black, black right. people. Right. I That's have, what your action showed me. I have many black huh? friends. I, I, well, well, we, I got we are the equals. Most, you know what's crazy? The most racist white supremacist people no. I know. Let me finish. The most racist white supremacist people I know always start off by saying, yeah. I have black friends. Right, right, right. right. No. How would it sound like if I was insulting you? I have black family. Let me finish what I'm saying. 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 Imagine if I was insulting your wife because she was a so-called Caucasian woman, and then I said, I'm not racist. I got white friends. Right, 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 right. right. You can have any friend you want. You can be, we are all equals in this world. Wait, wait, and we can practice any religion we wish. I'm bound to nobody, no matter what color you are. 
after slavery and, and after after Jim Crow laws were abom uh, uh, abolished, so first, we, after slavery, we were equals. Wait, wait, we were wait, wait, wait first, equals. first to give him one time point, he said after slavery, that's 1860, uh, 1868, right? Yeah, 1868. Well, you know what? Then, it, it makes me feel. I'm not here to argue. Well, 1847. Oh, yeah, we're here to have a good time. Yeah, 1847. And then you got years later. Then Jim Crow, you skipping two time periods, man. Listen, listen. You said, you said, you said, you said, you said, you said, you said that all people are equal, right? All people are equal under God. Are you God. sure? Under oh, God. Why can't we? The founding father. No, no, no. Why can't we speak? Is the Bible speaking that? The founding father said that all men are created equal under God. There you go. Calm yourself down. Now, does the Bible teach that black people, everyone is equal? Yes or no? No. I feel you spit. see how your wife is saying something different than you say. <laughs> right. No. No. Jim Crow, Lilla, 1877 to 1964. What are you talking about, man? Are you studying our Since then, we still been, we still are not studying? equal. Are you studying? Right? Are you studying? Black people are still treated like garbage here in America, man. Are you so studying? what are you talking about? I have a question. Now the question is this. Boom. Right? Now if the Bible says if the theory? Bible says that black, all nations are not equal. What are you going to say? Are you going to go what the Bible says or are you going to go what you say? All men are equal. Huh? All men and, and all That's women were created. Give me Deuteronomy 7. You know what? Are you reading a revisionist theory? No. Deuteronomy no. to the 7 verse 6. 6. Bring it out. For thou art a holy people. What do I say? For, For thou, thou art a holy people. people. This is most speaking to the children of Israel. The children of Israel. All the people on this side which knew to or not. Right? Skins, Cubans, right? Absolutely. Americans. God damn it. Those are the children of God. Read That's that. right. For well, thou art an holy people. What about to say? For well, thou art a holy, holy people. people. One more time. For well, well, thou art a holy, holy people. For well, thou art a holy people. Read on. Unto the Lord thy God. What about to say? Unto, Unto the, the Lord, Lord thy God. God. Unto the Lord thy God. Okay. So my the turn Lord turn. said. My turn. Lord I said. I didn't even finish off. Would you worship down and get on your knees for a white person? The Lord thy God hath pregnant. chosen thee. What about the say? The Lord thy God, God has chosen thee. thee. I would chose us. Okay, right? so you, do, you think, do you think you guys are more powerful because you're black because of what happened over 18, uh, in 1876? God damn it, yes. Uh, 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 We're right! Uh, for every nation okay. on this earth. That's uh, right! And it's not because of the color of our skin, because we can give a damn about Arabs. We don't care about East Indians. We don't care about Chinese. So any nation on this now? earth, we only care about so-called black, Latinos, and Hispanics, man. That's We're right! Our uh, God-chosen people. So who's the, the most important people on earth, man. Now you said, oh, all right, now you we said, gotta go, man. We gotta go, man. Every nation. Sorry, God man. damn it. Yes. Sorry about that. the songs, man. 92. Let's see according to the Bible, man. That's the problem. You came over here, you think you were dealing with men. Right. The Lord made us gods. That's, right? that's right. right. That's what he made us. He made us gods. Psalms 82 verse 6. Bring it out. I have said, ye are God. What about the say? I, I have, have said, ye are, are God. Are you more powerful than every nation on this earth? I have, I have said, ye are, are God. What about the say? I, I have said, ye are, are God. The Bible said that so-called black, Latino, Native Americans are gods on this earth, man. That's right. Man, the most high God gave this Bible to us, man, because we're his chosen people, man. And these last days, the most high is calling us back to our true heritage, our culture, and our knowledge, man. We're not niggas no more, we're not spits no more. Just like the so called Caucasian was spit on the ground, guess what? We spit on your whole goddamn race. Man. That's right! That verse again. I have sent your God. I can hear it from your tone, the way you walk. This is your world, your planet, your country, and nigga, you go sit in some plant in some prison somewhere. That's probably what you're thinking. But the most high God is sending forth his son to put you in captivity. That's man. right! You're gonna be slaves in these last days. Read. I have said, ye are God. What about the say? I have said, ye are God. What about you, friendly white woman? Are you a um, do you believe in do you believe in Christianity? Yes, I do. Are you believing in Christ? Do you believe in the promises of Christ? No, I said, do you, do you know the promises of Christ? Are you still with them? Yeah. So you believe in them? Yeah. Are you sure? You're saying, like, Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? Revelation. Give me revelation. I want to see if you, I want to see if you believe in the promises of Christ. Yeah, I want to see if you believe in the promises of Christ. We got a revelation chapter two. I want to see. Okay. There's nothing wrong with that. You believe in the promises of Christ? Two and twenty-six. Okay. Two and twenty-six. Come. That's not that. Revelation chapter two verse twenty-six. Bring it out. Revelation chapter two verse twenty-six. Everyone should be recognized. Revelation in Genesis, right? First and last book. Read on. 
So what is that? I'm not, I'm and he talking. that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Now, you both said, you both testified, you believe in the promises of Christ. Are you sure about that? Everybody's equal. Uh, that's not what I asked. Do you believe in the promises of Christ? I believe everybody's equal. <laughs> you keep avoiding it because right. you don't know yeah, what it says. Yeah, Read that because you don't. You're not. You're not actually a Christian. Explain that scripture. I'm gonna explain to you. No problem. I, I don't understand. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. You know what? You're right. You don't understand, and, I, and that's what I we come here to explain. That's why. I what, what's your name? Lou. Yeah. Okay. What's your name? Karen. Karen. Karen and Lou. Now I'm gonna show you what the premises of Christ are. Read that. And he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end. Right. This is what Christ told the apostles. He told them what the only ones who's gonna be saved. And given salvation are those who endured until the end, right? Overcome, right? Read on. To him will I give. Overcome the temptations of this world because this world is only getting worse, it's not getting better. Right? Read up, read up. To him will I give power over the nation. Right? Read one more time. To him will I give power over the nation. Now the Bible is telling us that those who overcome, that salvation, that power, that gift is going to take place in them getting power over the nation. That's the form it's gonna give the Lord's gonna give it to you. You're gonna have power over the other nations. Now let's see what to do. Read. And he shall rule over them. Rule them with a rod of iron. You're gonna be given a rod of iron, right? When a king has a rod, it's called what? A scepter. You're gonna be given a scepter, right? Read on. As the vessels of pilots shall they be broken to shivers. And you're gonna take that rod of iron. And those nations you have power over, you're gonna take that rod of iron and you're gonna dash them in pieces. You're gonna break them in pieces. You're going to oppress them. That's the promises of Christ. See, I thought you believed in it though. Dude, now the question is, Luke, right? I just like Luke in the Bible. Luke, do you want that? You want power over the nations? I want fucking equal equality. Exactly. You carry it? But I still believe in God. I still believe in Christ. Hold on, I wanna hear from her too. Cause she's a Christian. She says she's a Christian. I wanna hear her answer. Do you want power over the nation to dash them in pieces? No. I don't want, I want everyone to be equal. Now, see, now I'm, let me tell you something. As, as you know, as so-called believers, supposed to believers, I tell you that's early. Don't believe power is God. I want John to be mean. I can just so be So my point, I understand, Luke, now let me say this. Boom, right? My point is this. You can't, you can't ask me something while I'm speaking. So my point is this. The way y'all didn't give me a direct answer and say, yes, is because you do not want the promises of Christ. You don't want it. But guess what? Every other brother up here, we want that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Every other brother up here, we all want that promises. We want those promises. We want the promises that's going to give us power to have power over you. No longer your nation having power over us. No, no, no. You want to know? You want me to show you how? You want me to show Okay, no problem. I'm going to show you how we're going to have power over you. How, how, us. I want to understand. Us. I want to understand. Like, brother, you know because you're black we're and you're white, so you're going to have power. No, that's racist. It's not being no, I never even said color. Just, I never even just, said color. Why did you look you at him and say that? Isaiah 14, verse 4. Look at you, Karen. Bring it out. Isaiah 14, verse 4. Bring it out. For the Lord will have mercy on Jacob. On the whole world? On Jacob. On everyone? On Jacob. On Jacob. He's going to have mercy on Jacob because everyone is treating the children of Israel Black and Latinos, they treat us like garbage. So in the last days, God is saying he's gonna have mercy on us finally. Read on. And will yet choose. No, 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 no. what are you doing? Leave that right there. Read it, read it again. And will yet choose Israel. What it say? And, and will yet, yet choose Israel. Israel. Everybody. And, and will yet choose Israel. Israel. Everyone. And will yet, yet choose Israel. So the promises of Christ person, deals with all us. All Hold on. Can, the promises of Christ, no problem, brother. Give me one second. Okay. The promises of Christ deals with us. We as black and Latino people, we're going to have the promises of Christ, and the Lord is going to choose us finally. See, but why? Why? There is no rest. Let's finish that part. Right. And set them in their own land. What did it say? And set them in their own land. Now, we as so called black and Latinos, Christ, do, no do we, Luke, 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 do, do, do we as black and Latinos, do we have our own land to claim? America? Absolutely. No. America, where we get put in our prisons and we get killed and murdered by the police officers that swore to protect us. Well, the reason why you go to prison, prison is because you should And well, yet, wait, send them wait, 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 wait. I want to hear what Luke says. The what? reason why anybody goes to prison is because you rob and you No, 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 no. That's not, not what she said before. Can I, can I say so something? You, I said you, but I don't I'm mean it that way. I mean everybody. Luke, that's not what she said. 
first you question yourself. You said the reason and I why. Did not mean it like no, that. hold on. That, I'm, I'm glad you're confirming because, what I'm saying. Because Luke, I'm let me saying, finish. You're gonna get you didn't say why everybody goes to prison. Everybody you goes said to prison the same that's way. the reason why you go to prison right. because you way. robbed, you, know you killed, that you're you're still, my words. That's what you you're said. Right, right. Brother, go ahead and tell me what you gotta say. I gotta watch you, bro. I pray to y'all that one day my people see them chariots Spreading the word in them streets but my people not hearing us I pray that we make it